For the internal abdominal oblique, its origins begin at the thoracolumbar fascia on the posterior side. The iliac crest, shown here posteriorly and anteriorly, and the inguinal, inguinal ligament, shown here in dots. The muscle will insert on ribs 8 through 12 costal cartilage. Here's 8 through 12 costal cartilage. The linea alba, the pubic crest, and tubercle. So the muscle will come wrap around to the anterior side, where we'll come and insert on these points. For another visual, here is a model from the Complete Anatomy app. The innervation is the same as the external abdominal oblique with ventral rami T7 through 12. And in addition, internal abdominal oblique has the nerve root of L1. The blood supply is similar with the musculophrenic artery, the superficial epigastric artery, the superficial circumflex artery, and in addition, we have the deep circumflex iliac artery. The actions for the internal abdominal oblique are the same bilaterally as the external abdominal oblique, where it compresses abdominal viscera, aids in expiration, and helps with trunk flexion. Unilaterally, the internal abdominal oblique will do ipsilateral side bending, which is same side side bending, and ipsilateral trunk rotation, which is same side trunk rotation. Finally, the closed chain action of this muscle is posterior pelvic tilt.